Where there's a wheel, there's a way. But with bicycles, the way has been rather tortuous. There were no traffic signals in those rollicking days. The next step was the machine of 1839. The handlebar was carried in an iron fork, and the wooden wheels were propelled by treadles and cranks fitted to one of the axles. In 1860 came the velocipede, and this one, if you please, is a light racer, made of wood with a metal crankshaft. It's front driving and rear steering, and it weighs only 63 pounds. Seven years later saw the bone shaker. The brake is operated by rotating the handlebar, and there are pedals fitted to the front wheel. Daredevils flung themselves headlong into the saddle and dashed off at almost eight miles an hour. This is the extraordinary of 1878. The front wheel has a diameter of 52 inches. Life became just one mad whirl. The first rare chain-driven safety made its appearance in 1879. The saddle is now much further back, and there are thrilling footrests for coasting, my dear. This tricycle was born in the same year. It had two small wheels in front and a large rear wheel, and it was steered by hand grips. The tricycle was rear driven and the front wheels could be adjusted to enable the machine to pass through narrow passages. Two years later came the dicycle with two large road wheels on an axle which supported the saddle and entire frame. It was steered by means of spade grip handles which also contained a brake. A roller prevented the rider from falling off backwards. In 1885 we saw this safety with solid rubber tyres and a saddle like a shoulder of mutton. Then the safety of 1890 with diamond frame, curved forks and a plunger brake to the front wheel. From the old hobby horsey period to the present shorts and sports days. From the tandem and bloomers, I'll bet he talked behind her back, the rascal, to the carefree any old thing of modern youth. Cheerio, old fruits!